barely touches. So close. It's like a movie when you reach it's, for the key. I, I, I know. You can't quite reach it. It's just like how you see it dangling right there. You're like, come on. And I get criticized out there. People are like, ah, no, no photographic evidence. I don't believe it. It's all garbage. Look, you got to start somewhere. Okay? It starts with a story. How are you supposed to go looking for something if you don't even know it exists? Right? So now we know that it exists. We've talked to people that have seen it. In fact, Michael Schellenberger called me up when the film first came out. And he goes, hey, this is Michael Schellenberger. I'm uh, thinking about putting together an article for the New York Post. And uh, I could tell he was kind of rocked by the story, right? He was like, man, this is pretty wild. I was like, yeah, I know. He goes, well, I'm thinking about putting together an article. I said, well, if I can do anything to help out, just let me know. He goes, well, I want to know about the photographic evidence. I was like, okay. I was like, well, I, I could put you in touch with a couple of people that have seen it. And I was actually quite surprised because the New York Post wanted more than one source. They wanted two sources that could see it and describe it. And we made it happen. Pacchini was shown video footage. He describes it in vivid de detail. Go find the New York Post article by M Michael Schellenberger, and I suggest your audience read it. Yeah, I read it. Oh, you did read it? it to me. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool, you know, and we, we know where it is, and we know who has it. Do you have it, Jamie? And it's like the frustration is I remember one of the people that we approached on, we offered $100,000 and there was nothing. Then we offered $200,000. People claim they saw aliens after UFO crash landed in Brazil in 1996, documentary reveals. And that's uh, the trailer from Moment of Contact. Yeah, scroll on down. I think a little further you'll get details of, of the description. And that's the, the, the that's drawing. The, that's the drawing that was done right after the incident. I actually held the original print in my hands from Claudio Covo's daughter. So one of, was one of them dead and one of them was alive? Yeah, apparently. And it, you look, there were up to, f uh, up to accounts of possibly five. Um, and this is another thing that a lot of people don't even realize when they watch the movie, and it was shocking to me, was that we stayed at the, we rented this house in this kind of gated community, and it was owned by a doctor, and, and they had fellow doctor friends. And they were like, oh, what are you doing in Brazil? What are you doing in Virginia? A whole camera crews and tr caravans of camera gear and tripods. They're like, what are you guys doing here? We're like, all right, here we go. Well, we're here to cover the Virginia UFO incident. And, and the doctor goes, you know, my friends saw something that you might want to talk to them about. And we, they kind of chuckled a little bit. They're all this. These guys are serious. The whole family saw it. 